With the advent of the internet, uh, new possibilities emerged. So the internet allowed you to start being your own boss. It allowed you to have access to millions of people all around the world without having to deal with big, already established organizations who are the intermediary, intermediary between you and your customers. The internet just broke all that open. So it created such as, let's say once upon a time, nobody had books was published, very, very few people. With the internet, you can self-publish. If you're able to attract attention, and with YouTube and social media, if you can attract attention and people are interested in what you gotta say, they may buy your book. They could buy your book. You don't have to, you don't need an intermediary. You can use Amazon if you want, and even then you don't have to. You can sell a PDF and a person can download it from your website and you skip Amazon. So all, all this to say, with the, when the internet 2.0 started to explode, and social media started to come on the scene, it created new opportunities for so many people who are somewhat disillusioned of the old ways and want to have a freedom. Our generation wants freedom and the next generation wants more freedom. Ironically, yet they're becoming more enslaved. This is a paradox, let's not get into it. But the point is, the internet gave us a freedom we didn't have before. So a lot of people said, I want to do it my own, I want to do it my way, I want to do it the way I want to do it. I want to innovate. And the internet offered that possibility. So with that came the culture, the newfound culture of entrepreneurialism. Because now you have people online who are realizing, well, a lot of people want to learn how to do business online, so we can teach them how to, be, how to do business online. So you see, this, isn't, this is a natural, this is good. This is, this is it's, not, it's an organic growth, but then in order to create more sales, we have to create and sell a dream. Part of sales pitch is what? Imagine waking up, hearing the sound of the ocean. The sun is rising, you're in paradise. Next year, beloved, you stretch, do some yoga, have a smoothie, open your laptop, answer a couple of emails, and that's it, that's your day. That's a dream. You see the difference? But online business is just like any other business. You gotta work your ass off to make your business work. You have to work your ass off. To, if you sell content, your content has to be impeccable. You have to have the knowledge. The knowledge has to actually work. Then you have to create information courses with it. Then you have to learn how to market. So what's the difference between the fact that What's the difference between a brick and mortar shop and an online business? Nothing besides that one actually sells bricks and the other one sells knowledge or information, which is, so you've simplified, you don't have to deal with material. But the, the business is the same. You have to attract attention, you have to position yourself as an excellent expert, you have to have something that actually solves the problem that people actually want, that they need, that they enjoy. You have to offer excellent, ex, ex, excellent customer service. Then you have to create distribution pathways to get the product into the hands of people. Then you have to do marketing. So what's the difference besides the fact that we've removed the bricks, the actual raw material, and we went to a digital material? So that's online business. So online business with, the, with information expanded because we can get information in everybody's hand via the internet. Are you an expert? Not necessarily. So now what I'm trying to say is that marketers who want to sell you a course on how to make business online are not going to sell you a dream. And that created the hype culture of entrepreneurialism that we can see today where everybody dreams of being an entrepreneur, wishes they were an entrepreneur, buys courses to be an entrepreneur, and will not be an entrepreneur because 90% plus of businesses fail in less than five to 10 years. You're gonna go out of business most likely because there's more to being an entrepreneur than having a dream. There's, you actually have to work. You have to actually want to work. You have to ha actually know how to work. You, you, there's so many things you have to learn. And this little course that you're buying that's gonna last three months is not gonna teach you all those things. And you gotta to wanna to do them, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So, with the advent of the internet, this is my recap, it's like a whole new world was open. We can now sell information. So if you know something, and you're good at it, and a person wants that information, that information can change their lives via the internet. You don't need to go sell a, uh, your books at the bookstore. Now, via the internet, you can get that information in the hands, in the hands of, the, of a dude in Singapore if, if he, if, if he's interested and you're interesting for him. You understand? 
But the rest is business. So this is amazing. That's what the internet provided for a whole generation to, to okay, I want to work online and I want to sell my stuff online. I'm a knowledgeable, knowledgeable person or be some kind of intermediary between goods. I, I'll be that person. You, I can connect this good to that person. Fine, all kinds of new ways of doing business. But at the end of the day, business is business. You still gotta understand business. You have to have the energy of an entrepreneur, thinking like an entrepreneur, want to, to serve whatever purpose. If you wanna make money, then you wanna have to make money and go through the process of making money. And if you try to cheat, it's not gonna work because I have a thousand other choices. So, marketers sold the dream of being an entrepreneur so that they can make money selling you a course that you too can be uh, living by the ocean with whoever you love, working less than three hours a day. Bull bullshit. Bullshit. Uh, a load of fucking shit. If there's any shit, that's the highest shit. And let's pretend that at the end of the day, all you did is three hours, you're thinking about it all the time. Let's cut the crap. It's going to be on your mind in one way or another. And especially in this day and age where there's so much fluctuation in the world and so much happening, you got to be on your toes all the time. One, one stream of income is not sufficient. You have to have another stream of income which takes more time. Then you have to deal with more people. It's a load of shit two, three hours a day. Go fuck yourself. You're a liar. And let us say that you succeeded in making money, then you have to manage your money. And then when you have to manage your money, then you have to study about how to manage your money, what to do with the money, where to invest your money. And you have to constantly feed the beast it's a living process. If you study today, you have to study tomorrow, tomorrow, and every day because it's changing so fast. So what I knew today isn't good. Uh, what I knew yesterday isn't good today. And if I, don't, if I don't have enough information today, something may shift in literally five seconds and I can lose everything. So it's a, another load of shit. It's, this, is the, this is the game of money. No matter how you approach it, you have to be vigilant. You have to learn how to flow the currency. So... The internet has been a great gift for so many people, millions of people who have uh, international access, access to people everywhere on earth. But at the end of the day, business is business.